Hey guys, welcome to episode 8 of season 7 at Sunderland. It's time to begin the January transfer window. We will do that with a game away from home against Arsenal. We've had Nottingham Forest away from home in the FA Cup, followed by Burnley at home. Now, depending on how this FA Cup game goes, will dictate whether this month is or is not split into two. Going to play these first two games, to be fair, with games against Brighton and Manchester City at the end of the month. I probably will split it into two anyway to ensure that we pick up as many points as we can. Trying to challenge on as many fronts as possible, of course. In the Champions League, we've been drawn against Real Betis for the round of 16. So that should hopefully be us progressing through to the uh, quarterfinals, but... We shall wait and see. We shall wait and see. Starting with Arsenal away with four points off the top of the table. We will be hopefully making a new signing in today's episode. We currently have uh, about £60 million to spend on a new winger. Which at present, I'm leaning towards signing um, leaning towards signing Ryan Sessegnon. He's valued at £43 million And he's 86 rated now. So he's continued to grow as well in this save. However... On the recommendation of the comment section, I am looking to sell all of the regens that I'm not going to use because this is going to be the last season in the save. We're not going to, they're not going to grow well enough to use them. So Phillips at 3.3, Thomas at 10, Castell at 17 and a half, Albert at 5, Morris at 7 and Morgan at 4 are going to be potentially, hopefully, sold on to raise some more funds, meaning we might be able to afford someone else who's higher rated to go on the left-hand side of our uh, forward midfield three. Clark Harrison and Rafinha are still there. I'm contemplating what to do in the centre. I don't think I'm going to sign anyone else. I think we just need to better utilise Kai Havertz when he's on the field. But uh, Zimmerman's out injured for a matter of months, so we might as well come off the uh, bench there. So there have been some calls to play... McAllister here, and then Kai Havertz deeper to be more of a playmaker. But then that leaves me with a conundrum as to which of the two strikers to play up top. Chalov was our best goal scorer last year and started this season very brightly. But Harrison has come into the starting lineup recently and has been impressing. But I don't know if he would continue to impress further up the field. So I'm unsure what to do at the minute. I might try this in the game against Arsenal and we'll see how it goes. So Havertz playing slightly deeper, McAllister at centre forward and Harrison at striker. We'll give this a go, we'll see how it pans out and then make a decision as to what to do from there. And then throughout the course of the month, we'll then make a decision as to what to do with regards to the left side of midfield as well. We know we're gonna buy someone, we just need to figure out who to buy. But for now, we'll start with Arsenal away and then just take it from there as it comes. Burnt Leno in goal for Arsenal still at this point in the save. Trent, Bekao, Kunde and Laporte at left back. Ndidi and Casemiro holding for Arsenal with Saka, Zobnin and Pione Sisto as the three sat behind Pinamonti leading the line again. They still do have uh, Moussa Dembele on the bench to call upon as another striking option if needed. We'll see how this particular lineup for us with Harrison up top for us with McAllister in that centre forward role and Kai Havertz sat deeper as a playmaker. See if that changes the way that the, uh, the side plays. Obviously he had a decent season as it is already anyway. Sitting just four points off the top of the table and challenging for the title. But these changes suggested by you guys could potentially make the difference in getting us from third to top and pushing further away from those behind us. We'll wait and see. And this is a great test to test that new lineup. Arsenal are a really capable side with some high rated players that will give us the challenge we need to know whether it is or is not the right thing to do with our starting 11. Pione Sisto Pinamonti again. Pini Pinamonti Zobnin. This is good football from Arsenal. Casemiro to Pinamonti. Lunin holds on. Oh, that was our first scare at the back. Thankfully, we've withstood the test. Alexis there into Harrison. Kai Havertz pushing forward and will look to return the ball through that gap to George, which he's done really well. Harrison would save by Leno. I did have McAllister in support. I felt confident enough in uh, Harrison's abilities to try and finish that off. Unfortunately, 
just didn't quite have the finish I needed to give us a 1-0 lead there. Plenty of time left in the game, though, to get ourselves in front. Havertz winning the ball back there, but then losing out at the second opportunity. Zobnin just runs straight into Longley, oh, who then kicks it straight into an Arsenal man. Niklas Serla has done exactly the same. And Pione Sistifo has been a Monty, and we're behind. Win the ball back, lose it. Win the ball back, lose it. Concede a goal. Balls. Pina Monti, the port to Pione Sisto. Good footwork from the Dane. In there to Wilfred and Didi. Zobnin shot blocked by Longley and will work it away. This time able to not give possession away. Harrison actually go across there to Tielemans first. Then look for Jack Clark. Work the opportunity. There's a man free on the edge here. And across there is Alexis McAllister around the corners by Havertz. And he's very nearly had the impact from that deeper roll. Desperately unlucky not to give us. Agony etched on the players' pace when he was denied with what was a great. I can't believe we haven't scored there. I really can't believe we haven't scored there. Trent Alexander Arnold delivers but blocked. And a throw for them. Trent into the middle. Zobnin down to Saka into the middle. And Wan Bissaka away. It's going to be 1 0 down. At half time, Daka in there to Ndidi. Casemiro scores a blinder. Arsenal looking to take control in this game now. 2 0 up, five minutes into the second half, and that is a cracking goal from the Brazilian. Space on the edge of the box, and he's utilised it beautifully. Couldn't quite get across there with Kai Havertz to close him down. And five minutes into the second half, our deficit has doubled. Saka, Casemiro, Trent Alexander Arnold. Mendy steps in really well there, Ferlin Mendy, and he's on a driving run forward. He's got Kai Havertz here, and there's Alexis around the corner looking for Rafinha. I've got options in the middle. I'll pull this back. But Alexis can't find the space. Yuri Tielemans can, oof, but can't keep it down. Oh, yeah, not good enough is right, Martin Tyler. That's basically the story of our game so far. Not good enough. Rides the challenge well. Oh, long lay lunges. Gets to that really nicely, but Tielemans is going off here for Drew Yearwood, and what I've done is brought Chalov on as well. For McAllister, put Harrison back to centre forward, and now just playing Havertz in that role. When looking at the um, stats that basically show, you know, goals, assists, etc., so far this season, McAllister's actually not performing that well this year. So maybe just a simple swap of McAllister out and Kai Havertz in in the central role, rather than messing around with Chalov and Harrison, is the way forward. We haven't been amazing in this game with George Harrison up top and uh, McAllister in behind. Kai Havertz has certainly been involved breaking forward from deeper positions. We'll try and get Jack Clark played in behind him. Trent read that brilliantly. Should have expected nothing less of one of the best right backs in the world on this or in this save right now. Big ball around the corner there to Asano. Fernandi pulled out of position. Trent Alexander Arnold back there. Playing the ball about nicely now. Escasibar into Asano, back to Casemiro. They're toying with me, Arsenal. Playing the ball about as you expect an Arsenal side to do. And I can't seem to get it off them either. We've been able to scrape a couple of draws in the last couple of games that we've played in this save towards the end of uh, the last episode. But unfortunately, it does look like we're actually going to taste defeat on this occasion. Can't seem to get the ball back off Arsenal, let alone stand... The opportunity to now score Kassibar. two goals to get a point. It's not the... Ah, he skipped past me nicely there, Skassibar, and he's still going. Nicolas Serla steps across, and he's just far too strong for him. Havertz, we've got a forward looking for Harrison, who's done really well. A little back heel to Kai again, bursting forward. Chalov, ah, oh, he's just run offside there, unfortunately. Pulled the shot horribly wide anyway. He's going to lose here. Of regular touch and turn. Chalov is Drew Yearwood quickly looking for Harrison. I think he's on side here. George Harrison. Kunde out of nowhere to make the tackle. Oh, off the bar from George. He's come so close there to giving us a goal back on two occasions. 
Shalov trying to twist past two defenders and can only beat one. It's been great from corners recently, George Harrison. And very nearly adding another to his tally for the season. Ah, if I'd have scored there with either of those opportunities, then maybe we might have been able to get ourselves a point with some late pressure. As it happens, we're going to have to settle for defeat by either two goals to nil or two goals to one, depending on if we can create more opportunities between now and the end of the game. And having lost possession there, I don't think we will. Time will probably run out on us now. 30 seconds to go. Chalov looking to accelerate away. Could play George Harrison through. And this might have been the opportunity to draw level. As it happens, it's only to give us a consolation goal. Great finish from George Harrison. And certainly, I don't want to be dropping him from the starting lineup anytime soon. I think I'm going to go with the McAllister on the bench. Kai Havertz into the starting lineup alteration. And we'll see how we do with that lineup for the remainder of the month, or at least for the next couple of weeks. But it's defeat against Arsenal. In frustrating circumstances as well, we certainly should have gotten at least a point from that game. Manchester United drew with Leicester. Tottenham drew with Newcastle. A let off for us. The other sides around us are dropping points as well. Although Chelsea might have gone above us in the league. Now, I didn't check with their result. We've not even Forest in the league next. Sorry, in the cup next. Actually down to fifth now behind Chelsea and Liverpool. A five-way title fight. At the minute, we're at the bottom of those five. But certainly, we have the opportunity to get ourselves back up. An offer of 44 million for McAllister from Real Madrid. I shall reject that. I'm not looking to replace him at all. And with the uh, games in the Champions League coming thick and fast again soon, I'm not going to be looking to sell any of my main players. I'm going to need everybody that we can possibly get our hands on that's high enough rated to be able to play a part in all three competitions for the remainder of the season. But we are going to have to make sure we win against Nottingham Forest here to ensure that it is three competitions that we're involved in. Foyth wants to play and I will probably give him a start then against Nottingham Forest here but I'd really like to get payback for them or on them. We obviously got ourselves through in sorry got ourselves a point in the league and uh, I'm not going to select their side for the FA Cup we'll let them select what side they would like to for this particular competition uh, do I start with that side that's tired I might we'll make a couple of changes we'll make a couple of changes let's put Lyndon Gooch in for Rafinha who's had multiple opportunities recently and actually hasn't taken any of them Drew Ewood can step in for Yuri Timons who's been not disappointing but underperforming of late we'll see what we can do here against Nottingham Forest we drew 2-2 in this exact game in the last fit, uh, last episode a couple of days ago win this time please Seydou Sai in goal for Forest again here it's not the exact same starting lineup that played against us in the league but it's similar Bodu up top, Matty Cash on the left and that rapid Appiah on the right Logo scored a great goal for them in that league game this is well, not going to be easy. I headed into the game against Forest in the league in the last episode, a couple of days ago, thinking this is a straightforward victory, and it was anything but. We'll see if we can fare better in the league. Now, perhaps trying to nullify any... Uh, con what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, not contemplation. Complacency. Well done, Ches. George Harrison in the box. 1-0 Sunderland after six minutes. Why couldn't we have done that in the league then, eh? 1-0. Oh. Out to Gooch. Inside there nicely to Harrison. It's the obvious ball to play. As was that one towards Chalov, but it doesn't find its recipient. We will get it to Chalov now, and he'll look for Harrison, but... Well, Forrest are trying the hardest in defence, but they just can't stop the ball coming back at them at the moment. We haven't come close... To a second goal, though, throughout the entirety and the remainder of that first half. Forrest have dug in and done well to slow us down. In fact, that was my, the goal was my only shot of the half. They've dug in that well and actually got themselves back into contention with uh, the way they've played so far. No equalising goal for them yet, but to be fair, of the two, they do look like the more likely to score the next goal in this game. Back here, carrying not for Forrest now. Oh, Jack Clark nearly intercepted that. Here's Grant. 
And the call there to Gomez goes for this shot, it falls back to him, it pinballs around a little bit and will come away on the counter. Kai Havertz on the ball, he's for the subs bench sooner rather than later, next time the ball goes out of play. I'm going to float this looking for Taloff at the back post to knock it back into the middle. Oh, where the defender makes a great block. Unreal. How we haven't made it 2-0 there, I can't tell you, other than the defender was right place, right time. I'm not sure how much he knew about that. Harrison tried to sweep at home. Keeper would have been well beaten if the defender wasn't in the way. And they might go up the other end and equalise. They haven't because Lunin gets behind the ball. Would have, gone, would have actually gone from nearly scoring at one end to goal line clearance to then conceding at the other. It might have summed up my performances against Nottingham Forest so far this season. Hopefully they'll give the ball straight back to me there. Kai Havertz so What is that, Kai? Very tired pass, but he's worked hard to win it back. 15 minutes to go. Drew he was slow on the turn as well and can't get the ball out of his feet. Really do need these changes that are about to come off the bench to try and freshen things up. We still might concede and have done. Another goal conceded at the goalkeeper's near post. Matty Cash might well be sending us to an FA Cup replay. Chalov to Rafinha. Looking to have an instant impact. We'll take the free kick there. Really good position to take it, actually. Yuri Tielemon stood over it. I'm not sure who my best free kick taker is. Tielemon has the great, the best stats everywhere but free kick accuracy. But still, it's heavily in his favour everywhere else. It's only one for Rafinha. So we will go with Yuri Tielemon here from the free kick for 22 yards with 10 minutes to go. Worn up for a corner. Well, that was a anti-climax, wasn't it? See if we can get George Harrison a goal from a corner. It won't be for him. Decides done well to punch that clear. Rafinha does horribly, bringing it down. But now we have another free kick in another decent, promising position. Now, it's very central. I have to decide whether to go for the right. Ah, actually, it's a little bit too, a little bit further right than I thought it was. We'll try again with Yuri Tiedemans. Over the wall this time. Over the wall! And Sai saves and out for a corner. Made some great stops in the league game site. And doing so again here in the cup. That's going to drop. No, it's not going to drop for me. And Gomez will come away on the counter. And we might well have to settle for a replay here. With Nottingham Forest coming forward on us now. Matty Cash driven into the middle there to Lobos. Don't want to concede a late Nottingham Forest winner. And we won't because Longley cuts that out. Can we still win this game? Harrison looking to get it out wide, but it's just poor. Something about this Nottingham Forest team does not sit well with these players and they don't perform against them. Grant played in, gets past me, don't concede a penalty, don't concede a goal either. Away, Gooch brings that down, but tries to play the first time pass and he decided to chest it instead. Lobos falls to Gooch. Counter-attack is on. I haven't got any other options, though. Got Rafinha out wide. I need some good footwork here. And I need a right pass at the right time. And that might be it. George Harrison in behind. I have options around me. No, I tried to turn the man as he slid. 1-1. One, one. A replay upcoming in the FA Cup. I can't believe I haven't finished that final chance off there. The defender slid. If I'd have kept going forward, I might have gotten around him. So it happens I... Like elected to turn back to avoid the challenge and the defender was able to get back up and nail me. An offer for James Justin which we shall reject not looking to sell him, he's going to be vital when the Champions League comes back into full effect. Going to continue to train these youngsters whilst they're still here if we can get them up another rating when trying to sell them then they'll be worth more. Got game against Burnley coming at the weekend and then you would imagine that the replay against Forest will be drawn in this week between the game against Burnley and Brighton so we'll advance further we'll see if we get any bids actually because I would like to sell some of those other players another transfer offer for James Justin I've got plenty of other players on the transfer list if you want to pick them off instead you're not having James Justin no one's having James Justin we're fifth in the league with the game against Burnley. A transfer off for Christoph Pido. I will just accept that. Just get him out the door. Every little helps. It's more Castell at 17.5 million that I want to sell than anyone else. Albert, an offer for him of 4.8. Again, I'll just accept. They seem to know that we're trying to sell these youngsters off cheap. They know what we want to do in this transfer window. Burnley up next. We'll sim that. That's a home game. UEFA team of the year. 2024 is announced and three of the four people featured there are uh, 
fast load of players. I wonder if it will give me the... Oh, no, it's changed now that it stops. Uh, ability? No, I was hoping it was going to give me um, the opportunity to have a look and see the full 11, but unfortunately the news feature is updated. Right, Burnley at home. It's got to be a win, really, hasn't it? Burnley at home with this side as strong as ours. Tiedemons with a penalty after picking up a yellow card six minutes earlier. We have a 1-0 lead. Now if we could build on that, that'd be great. Thank you. Fedor Talov scores his ninth Premier League goal of the season. That's the first goal he scored. Rephrase. They're the first two goals he scored in a very long time, it feels. Mendy makes it four. And it's a dominating victory against Burnley. Four goals to nil. Three points. The league title fight is still going strong. Right. We'll continue to train again. The other youngsters. Morris still being trained too. And we'll advance towards that FA Cup replay against Forest. I'm tempted to sim it because it's a home game. And, well, everybody is... Or everybody should be... At close to full stamina. albert has gone. Let's have a look. I'm going to risk it. Nottingham Forest at home in the FA Cup. Come on then. Sim game. I mean, the way that I've been playing against them in the league, or just the way that I've been playing against them full stop the past two games, don't exactly stand more chance of winning by playing the game, do I? So... We'll see what happens in the simulation instead. Jack Clark with a 1-0 scoreline 11 minutes before half-time. To be honest, it was a bit of a risk to simulate this, and I, did, I am still slightly nervous, but that 1-0 lead has eased those nerves slightly with 10 minutes to go, with 5 minutes to go. Chalov with a second. Oh, all oh, the heart was racing slightly there. We're through to the next round of the FA Cup. Transfer for Foyth. I shall reject. Not looking to sell him on. Morgan, I'll accept a bid for, though. 4.75 from... Uh, was that Leganes? It was Leganes. In Spain, we'll accept that. I'm not sure when the next round the FA Cup will be drawn. It might be before the end of the month. Transfer approach made for uh, George Harrison. I'm two, I've got two players... Two, I've got two players that are running out of contract... They're both on like fifteen or nineteen thousand pounds a week, and to offer them a new contract would cost me an extra hundred and fifty odd thousand pounds a week because they signed those contracts so long ago and have grown so much. This is the last uh, season of the save. I'm just not going to bother offering them uh, offering them change. Oh, that's really tempting though for Harrison Green. We're going to get a bid here for Loic Guerin. Harrison Green has barely been playing for me in this save. I am I am sorely tempted to accept that or counter it and keep hold of everyone else. As we head towards the game against Brighton, which will be in the next episode, I'm going to negotiate this. This could be the transfer that gives us the money to maybe sign someone like Anthony Martial. In this transfer window. I shall propose a new transfer fee of 55. Because he's 82 rated at 21 years of age. And we certainly should be able to get a fee like that. And indeed we will. We might be about to sign someone as good as Anthony Martial. Or even 91 rated Jaden Sancho. Although the fact that the BVB sign pops up there. No, it's them signing Yanis Hadji in Germany. Green sold. Gone. George Harrison is leaving to go to Barcelona as well. But that's not going to be until the end of the season. So it's fine. Doesn't bother us whatsoever. I now have £114 million to sign a winger. Question is, which one do I go for? Let's have a look in our hub. I will add players that are the obvious. Like Mbappe. Where are you? Um, Kylian Mbappe. He's down as a striker right now. Ah, okay, out of my price range, not to worry. 95 rated right now, Kylian Mbappe. Um, I mean, Martial would be great. He'd be absolutely superb, and we can't afford him now. We would need the, some extra money for wages. Jaden Sancho's 91. Uh, 
<laughs> I've used Jaden Sancho previously though on FIFA 19 and not gotten on very well with him. That's the thing. I think I'll leave Jaden Sancho for a FIFA 20 series and go for the older Anthony Martial. At 90 rated would be another incredible signing to make. I'll offer a transfer fee. I'll offer them 80 million and they might just accept that. No, they want 111. I can't afford that, but it would leave us questioning whether we could afford his wages. So I'll offer them 90 instead. Will be our third 90 plus rated, sorry, our third 90 million pound plus signing for our third 90 plus rated player. 94 million pounds we shall offer. 102 they're asking for. I mean, I can go that far, but I'd just, oh, balls, I'll just play it. I'll just pay it. <laughs> 102 million pounds. Anthony Martial is on 280,000 pounds a week currently. I mean, I'd like him to take a wage cut, but we can afford to pay him what he's on. Four years is fine. I would say this is going to be the last season of the save. Disregard the release clause. And it's not going to give me an idea of what he wants wage wise. Do you just want 300 grand a week? You can have it if you want it. Yep. Anthony Martial is in and will start in the very next game against Brighton. However, that will be in the next episode in a couple of days' time. Actually, will he start because he's not fully fit? Probably not, actually. All right, never mind. Actually, no. When's the next game? Crystal Palace in a week's time. Okay, I'll simulate. I'll simulate, and we will be able to do that. So we'll we'll play Brighton, Palace, and City in the next episode. Or actually, we'll sim Brighton and then play Palace and City in the next episode and end the transfer window. That will be all for today, though, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Do drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to the channel too, so make sure you don't miss out on any further content here on the channel. There will be some FIFA 20 stuff coming soon. Although it will be Ultimate Team, not Career Mode. There will be continued Career Mode on stream when I get back from the capture event as well. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in a couple of days with another episode. And I'll see you then.